Hi guys, this is Glass Arrow, and today I'm going to review Playas High Wonder Woman, the new Wonder Woman from the Wonder Woman Pictures. Playas High has already done uh, actually three Wonder Woman figures. The first one is the variant Playas High that designed based on the comic version, and the second one is the Wonder Woman from Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice movie, and the third one that is just arrived. Is the Playas Kai Wonder Woman from the Wonder Woman movie herself? From I will come in this video. I'm going to do the review and also compare these two figures, the older one and the new one, because there are a lot of similar between these two figures, including that they are both from the Playas Kai mov movie line. Okay, so outside from the box, you can see that the new one got a very more cool, uh, like a. Dramatic design of like just like a poster from the movie. To step things up, the box may be a little small, but I think it already done well for the figures, especially in the cover art box. Okay, yeah, it's inside. Wonder Woman, and also there are also a nice description and story to go along with the figure. Okay, now let's take a look inside. Okay, here she is, Wonder Woman outside the box. At first glance, uh, I think this one they did a lot of upgrade from the last one. The face now, even though not that uh, very similar to the character from the movie, as just like some high-end figures such as Hot Toys, but this one is still re relatable to the real Wonder Woman herself with. The new sculpt for the hair and everything, I think it look quite okay for a figure. Now let's take out of the rotating stands. Okay, she stands roughly around 23 to 0.55 to 24 centimeters, a little bit shorter than normal Playas Kai, but in the same scale as other Playas Kai movie figures such as from the Dawn of Justice or the Dark Knight Trilogy and also uh, the Batman Bat Batman Returns Playas Kai or this scale, smaller than other Playas Kai. Now to compare with the old Wonder Woman from Batman vs Superman. When comparing side by side, you can see that the figure is exactly the same model. They done a little bit of more vibrant color paint job to the newer one, and also the new sculpting in some area, such as the hair, the face. I think they done a remodeling a bit. If you can see closely here, the newer one got a more I, I can say more human like looking than the older one that is a little bit doll like feeling to me not okay the overall uh, color is that the skin tone of the new one is a little bit more darker whereas the older one is a lot paler and <laughs> she lives she looks a little bit anemic to me for the suit, the new one materials is almost exactly as the older one, but it looks more possible. It is a little bit more uh, just like flexible than the older one, and also the main difference is that in the color, just like the paint in the flesh, the suit of the new one is more vibrant in color, including more red the uh, the old one is like a dark red and this one is more like a, on the side of orange fiery red or something like that other minor detail is that uh, the letter is positioned differently the old one got a little strap around her breast here and also it go this way but the new wonder woman figures don't have the little straps over her breast showing all her breasts like here but they come in the different position just behind the hair and go directly toward this side 
But what stays the same is that the size of her lasso of truth is both on her right side. Okay. And the color on her pants is more light blue in the new one. Other than that, the paint job is something like this all over her figure. The gold is more vibrant in the new one, whereas the old one is more like a uh, more metallic gold with some black ink shade on it. On the back, you can see that here there is a little bit glowing fiery orange in the gold area. Whereas the old one is a silver gray here. Okay. So overall, I think the new one is better, but Square Enix may be a little lazy just grabbing the old figures and recolor it and also just change the head and give us a new model. But if you have to choose one, go for the new figures. She is more vibrant in color, uh, more better face sculpt than the old ones. And overall, a very cool artwork design in the cover box. Okay, now for the accessories. For the accessory part, as you can see from the pictures, there are also the same accessory as the older Wonder Woman. There is the shield, the lasso of truth, the interchangeable hands, and the sword. From this picture, if you look closely in the sword, I think I will circle, I will put a red circle on it. You can see that there is something missing. I took this photo before I, I uh, take out the figure and I forget to check it at my local store before I grab her. The problem is that this figure, the sword come into two parts. This is the sword of the new Wonder Woman. The older one is something like this with the hilt already attached to the sword. But this one, they designed it a little bit different with uh, expected the hilt over here and have the hilt insert into the grabbing hand. The problem is that if you go back to see the picture I circle the red uh, on the accessory part. This, this one doesn't come with the hilt. Okay just a reminder to myself and to you all when going buying uh, if you buy local from local hobby store or toy store better check the figure before purchasing it. I'll try to reclaim it but I don't know that it will work out or not. Okay moving on first. The lasso of truth is almost exactly the same. This is the new one and this is the old one. Same to the, uh, the color and also uh, the sculpt. The exactly same sculpt. They didn't do a new thing on this one. Okay, next is the shield. This is the new shield of the Wonder Woman from the movie. And this is from the Batman vs Superman movie. It is uh, almost the same size. The new one is a little bit larger. Maybe cent a centimeter in radius larger. And also in the back. They change the design on how to grab it a little bit with the old one with two letter straps around here and the holding hand around here and the new one just only got one letter strap. Okay, so moving on. For the articulation, overall the same as the older Wonder Woman and other play as high head tilt, flexion and extension normally. The shoulder has no bicep tilting, but otherwise, the joint here works fine. The ball joint in the elbow and the wrist. Okay. And in the torso, the separate 
upper joint here and at the waist here that he can flex or extend and the crotch part a little peak inside this is a movable rubber plastic part and the leg can move freely in the back the knee joint double knee joint just like other play as Kai and also the foot and toe joint okay Okay, in summary, the Play As Kai Wonder Woman, the new one from the new Wonder Woman movies, all those squares just like repack the old Wonder Woman with doing some repaint and a little bit some new sculpting and put it inside a very new cool artwork box and sell us the old the the old the same thing again. But I dig this one because they did an upgrade on it. The face sculpt is better, the hair Sculpting is better, the overall paint job looks nice and more contrast and vibrant to create a more artistic style looking and the figure is will become a very nice show piece especially for all the DC collectors out there. And from this review I have to emphasize that before buying something check it. <laughs> Actually I just got this today and I forget to check it thoroughly. And although the sword can still stick into his her grabbing hand, just like in this video, it still lost a lot of things because there is no hilt, as you can see here. So pushing the sword into her uh, into her shirt uh, along her waist is not very good looking enough. Thank you everyone for watching this video, and if you have uh, any comments and questions, you can visit my Facebook page in the description. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more Play Ask Kai reviews. Glass Arrow out.